Hello, welcome to Lorbeck Luxury Cars. I'm Harry and on this edition of the Friday Drive, I viewed this, our 1948 Mercury 8 convertible. Now you might be looking at this car and going, wow, that's a familiar looking car. And you'd be right in saying that because this car, or the earlier version of it at the very least, was made famous by James Dean in the movie Rebel Without a Cause and most famous of all in the movie Grease. With iconic early post-war styling, cutting edge technology of the day, more chrome than you can poke a stick at, the Mercury 8 was symbolic of an era in American culture which was optimistic and enthusiastic. It's a car full of joy and excess. So let's get this 1940s American icon on the road and see how this piece of Americana goes in a world full of grey German business suits on wheels. car like this is rather hard to drive but the truth of the matter is it's actually not. I mean the steering is surprisingly light, the brakes are good and once you get used to the three on the tree arrangement the gear changes are very light, very smooth and very easy and it appears to have synchro mesh on both two and three. So it makes life effortless and the space in this thing is epic. The seats are incredibly comfortable including the back seats and there's so much legroom in the back seats that will make any other convertible on the market today just real in amazement. But the issue with old American cars is they're all about comfort, cruising at 55 and blinding oncoming traffic with the reflections from all the chrome adorning their noses. But this is actually a little bit different. And that's because under the bonnet of this car is the famous Ford Flathead V8. And even though it's not a particularly powerful engine, it still has enough grunt to get this thing going in a way that would surprise even the most rusted on of American car haters. But at the end of the day, we don't own classic cars because of the way they drive. It's because we love the look and because they take us back to a different time. A time of innocence, rebellion, seismic shifts in social norms and fashion, and increased patriotism as a result of the conclusion of World War II. And what's more, American cars from the 1940s for me symbolise an era that was so much, I guess, happier and more optimistic than it is today. The 40s was a time of great social change and real revolution both on a technological and social front and American cars from this period symbolise it. All the cars pre-war were pretty grim, formal looking things and though this is a fairly formal car in its own right, it still has a sense of fun and occasion which you just don't get in anything else that came out of Europe at this particular time. It's a car that symbolises boom, prosperity, not the austerity that Europe was facing at the time this car was built. It's a happy car, it's an optimistic car and that's why I really like it. Now we try each week of course to show off our cars in interesting and nice looking areas, it makes the car look really good. And you'll be thinking, well why are we driving around and sort of construction sites and warehouses and things with lots of graffiti. But it represents the exact same thing which this car was built off the back of. Prosperity, innovation, dedication, and I get the sense that if we were to recreate Greece here in Melbourne, you'd probably be doing it around here. So, if you're in the market for the best example of the Mercury 8 convertible in Australia, this is a one for you. Having benefited from a $300,000 nut and bolt restoration, this multi-award winning example is ready to be enjoyed right now. So come down to Lorbeck Luxury Cars and buy today. We'll see you next week.